Good morning, class. Okay. Before we start, let us all stand and let us pray. Samantha, can you please lead the prayer? Okay. Amen. Okay. So before you, ay, before you may take your seat, kindly, kindly arrange your chairs and pick up those pieces on the floor. Okay, thank you class. You may now take your seat. Okay, yesterday I gave you an assignment, right? Can you please bring out your assignment and let us check? Okay. What is the assignment I gave to you yesterday? Okay. So, you may now put it back on your bag, your notebooks class. Okay. Um what is our lesson yesterday? Can you recall what is our lesson yesterday? Yes, Giancarlo. Yes. Our topic yesterday is all about the numbers. Numbers are mathematical objects used to count, measure, and label. The original examples are the natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Okay. Um, do you want to sing, class? Okay, I want you to sing the song, um, One Little, Two Little, Three Little Angel, Angels. Ready, sing. Okay, very good, guy, class. Okay, so, um, based on the song, you sing. Do you have any ideas if what is all about what is the lesson for today? Yes, Jamaica. Numbers, yes. Anyone? Um yes, Isabel. Yes, numbers and number sense. So what is numbers and number sense? Number sense refers to a general understanding of number as well as operations and the ability to apply this understanding in flexible ways to make mathematical judgments and to develop useful strategies for solving problems. In this trend, students develop their understanding of number by learning about different ways to representing numbers and about their relationships among numbers. They learn how to count in various ways, developing a sense of magnitude. They also develop a solid understanding of the four basic operations and learn to compute fluently. What is the four uh, basic operations? The addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Using a variety of tools and strategies. A well-developed understanding of number includes a grasp of more and less relationships, part whole relationships, the rule of special numbers such as 5 and 10, connections between numbers and real quantities and measures in the environment, and much more. To assist teachers in becoming familiar with using the big ideas of mathematics in their instruction and assessment, this section of focuses on number sense and numeration. One of the strands of the Ontario Mathematics curriculum for grades 1 to 3, this section quantities the five big ideas that form the basis of the curriculum expectations in number sense and numeration during the primary years and elaborates on the key concepts embedded within each big idea. The big ideas, major concepts in number sense and numeration are the following. The counting, operational sense, quantity, relationships, and the representation. Children usually enter school with some counting strategies. And some children may be able to count to large numbers. Much of children's earliest counting is usually done as a memory task in one continuous stream similar to the chant used for the alphabet. 
But if asked what the number after 5 is, children may recount from 1 with little demonstration of knowing what is meant by the question. Young children may be not realize that the count stays consistent. At one time, they may count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And at another time, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 6, 8. With little concerns about their inconsistency, if asked to count objects, they may not tag each item as they count. With the consequence that they count different amounts each time they count the objects. Or they may count two items as they say the word seven. Okay. Did you understand, class? Very good. Okay. Now, I want you to divide the class into two groups. You, you need to do an activity by group. Okay. Are you ready, class? Okay, who are the group 1? Okay, and group 2? Okay, this will be your activity. After, uh, I will give you 15 minutes to finish your activity and then after 15 minutes, you will give your activity to me. And we will check. Okay, class, we are now going to have an oral presentation. Okay, I have here... Uh, chart and you will give the missing numbers okay are you ready class okay who wants to answer number one or the first column who wants to answer the first column uh, yes Janina okay very good next column um, yes Dave Grace Okay, very good class. And then the last column. Yes, James? Okay, good job class. So I think you already um, understand the lesson for today. Okay, I think you already know uh, what is all about the numbers and number sense. I want you to... I have a question and then you answer, you're going to answer. Okay, um, in your daily life or in your real life, how do you apply the numbers and number sense? Or how can you apply this in your life? Yes, Judel. Yes, very good. Every time we go to the store and we need to count in numbers or we need to count... Uh, for example, is the is your money? You need to count your money before you give it to the uh, to the tindera of in the store. Yes, who else? Yes, Eileen. Yes, okay. Uh, same with Judel. Uh, every time you go to the market and then you. Uh, you count something or you count something you buy in the grocery. Yes. Okay. Um, that is all about the numbers and number sense. Before we end the class, I want you to get your notebook and copy your assignments. And then, after you copy your assignments, you may not go. Okay. Thank you class and goodbye.